The fact that Americans consume too much salt isn't exactly breaking news. Medical experts have been pushing us to cut our consumption for years. However, it's easier said than done because most of it doesn't exactly come from our home salt shakers. It's already in the foods we buy. So today the FDA is taking some steps to help us regain some sense of sodium control. Dr. McGeorge is here with the changes we can expect to see in this. Hi, Frank. Hey, Jason. Yes, yeah, sodium in our food does play an important role. It actually acts as a preservative and it improves shelf life. But the fact is, the sodium content in food is higher than necessary, and it contributes to high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and other illnesses. So the FDA is going to help with, well, some behavioral nudges. A major move new today from the FDA to slash salt from what you buy at the grocery store or eat at restaurants. Americans should consume about 2,300 milligrams of sodium each day. That's about a teaspoon of salt. Right now, most of us eat way more than that, 3,400 milligrams on average. But the FDA's new guidelines for processed, packaged, and prepared foods hope to lower that number to 3,000 milligrams a day over the next two and a half years. That would cut out the equivalent of 60 teaspoons of salt per person every year. We believe that the sodium can be reduced in a way that people will hardly notice. Most of the sodium does not come from a salt shaker. It comes from the food, the processed food people are eating, uh, the restaurant meals they're consuming. And there's no way you can take it out of that tomato sauce or that salad dressing, it's already in there. The new recommendations aimed at more than 160 categories for food manufacturers, restaurants, and food service operators, from dairy to bread to baby food. For certain foods, it may be very challenging. For many foods, it may not be that technically difficult. It may be expensive, but it is nowhere near the toll that's taking on the American public in terms of disease. Now, a couple specific things to note. These changes are voluntary. The FDA is not requiring them. Also, they are meant to be gradual and modest for a few reasons. It allows food producers time to make adjustments. It allows our collective taste buds to adjust. And it really avoids the perception that this is being forced on the public. Back to you. Yeah, we hope it certainly has a positive effect. Doc, we appreciate it. Thanks.